Hello everybody. So it is that time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere when people start talking about designing snowflakes. And so I think about coding because a snowflake is symmetry and coding is a nice way um, to get symmetry exact when you're drawing things. Um, it's also a nice way just to do repetition. So we're talking about loops. Now, very, very, very important thing about uh, snowflakes and their symmetry. Snowflakes have six-fold symmetry. Snowflakes are hexagons. They only have six-fold symmetry. So you're only playing with the angles 60 in multiples of 60. If you have seven branches on your snowflake, it's not a snowflake. That's a little pet peeve of mine. Um, so I'll show you a couple different sites to use to code snowflakes. And it's block coding, but they also have options a couple of options for text-based coding if you want. Um, so Pencil Code, PencilCode.net, has a bunch of different options for coding. Their Let's Play is um, basically a turtle art kind of thing, though the, the, the language is slightly different than turtle art. Um, so you get all these blocks here to play with, um, movement blocks, arts for, you know, pen, Pen colors, pen speed. Um, it's got a drop down menu for the pen, but you can actually type in colors and see if they work. I typed in aqua and it worked. Um, text, I don't mess with on this sound. Sometimes I throw it on there just to play. These two for loops are important for us. Um, they're basically repeats. Um, I use the one with X because I wanted a variable because I because we have to go in multiples of 60 for a rotation. Basically, you're going to design one branch of the snowflake and then repeat it at intervals of 60 degrees. Um, so the four, just four by itself, doesn't really work for us. Um, operators, just some math to help us with. Sprites and snippets didn't play with. Okay. So here's what else. Oh, so here's this. They got speed two, pen red. Um, do 25 times this. So it's just going to draw that, you know, forward and turn, forward and turn. So basically it's drawing forward 25 times um, and turning. So there's that. So here's what I made. Bam. Um, speed four, pen purple for X in one through seven. One through seven gets me six branches. One through six does not because it's only five increments. Um, go forward, turn right, go forward, make an arc, 110 degree um, and 20 uh, radius. And then I made an arc 45 degree, 30 radius. So. So that's what it makes. Now, how do I do that six times? Notice right now that it's pointed that direction and I don't quite, oh, it did, it turned it, okay. And I do know what that is. But at the end of this here, I don't know what direction it's pointed. That's why this home block is very important. I could have used um, jump to or move to and set zero, zero to get it back to the origin. Um, but home automatically orients it in zero degrees, straight up. So that's very nice. I could have, I could have, yeah, if I don't know which way it's pointed, I just jump back to zero, I'm lost. So then I had it turn X by 60. So X is going from one to seven. So it'll go one times 60, two times 60, three times 60, right? So here's what we make. And make whatever you want on your branches. And just to be annoying, I threw some music in at the end. So it's just right here, the branches. That's my branch. So play with changing lefts and rights and backs um, to make things happen. Uh, you could, you know, change colors in between if you wanted to, right? You could change the, the, do I get pen size? I don't think I get this to change the size 
of the pen. Oh, yep, they're right there. So let's set pen color and size. So that is a different block that's than, than pen. Okay. Um, so things to fiddle with again. This went home to the origin and set the, the angle at the direction at zero. And then I turned it. And that X allows me to turn it a different amount of time each time. Because it's X times 60. And again, that's one of our operator things right here. X times 60. Okay. There's pencil code. Now, every set, everything has slightly different um, words on how to do things. Here is Turtle Art by Playful Invention. Um, that you can... Oh, let me... Th one thing in pencil code. It's in, like, I think something called Coffee Script. And so there's their text-based. And there's their code-based. Turtle Art just does uh, blocks. Code-based. Block-based. Um, they all have export, SVG, export, export picture. Again, look through your... Uh, Blocks that are available to you. Pen up, pen down, set pen size, set pen color, uh, set shade. I haven't played with that. Um, some math, some repeats, important things. Variables. Okay. So here we go. Here's what I made. Um, first of all, I clean the screen, put the pen down, set the pen size. I don't know what numbers it goes up to. Play with it. Set color. They got numbers. That's annoying. I think it's rainbow, but I, and up up to a hundred. That's what I think. So you just you gotta play. Uh, let's pick twenty. Let's what color is twenty? Twenty is a yellow. Uh, Thirty. Thirty is a green. See, I said rainbow. It's going from red or yellow, green, blue. Eighty. What do we get? Purplish. All right. I don't know. Uh, what's ninety? Do we get back? Oh, now we got a ooh. Actually, I like that color. Okay. Set the heading for zero. I like initial settings. Store in box one, zero. Give, give me a variable, call it box one, set it zero. Now do something six times. And here's where we make a branch. Right there. So I want to go forward 70. I want to make an arc at 45 degrees, radius of 30. I want to make an arc at negative 75 the other way um, at... 45 radius, and then I want to go back to the origin. Set the heading. Actually, no, just go back to origin, not set heading. Go back to the origin. Now, for my heading, again, we've got box one starting at zero. I'm going to add 60 to it. And then I'm going to set my heading to be whatever I put in box one. So now it's at 60. So my heading is now at 60. So I'm going to do this all aiming at, you know, starting off at aiming at 60. And then I'm going to add 60 to 60. Put that for the heading. You know, get back home. So here's the things we get to go. Um, and you could, inside of here, you could create a repeat. Right, you could stick a repeat inside a repeat to do something several times. Like if you wanted to uh, make a, a square up here, a real tiny square. Oh, we'll see if I can do that on the fly. Let's try and make a little tiny square at the end. A little tiny. I don't. I just said square just because uh, we got to go forward like ten, and we got to turn go left we'll go left 90 okay now here's where these these blocks come in handy these are just extender blocks so my code doesn't have to sit on top of each other notice it, when I had when I started to put the left there was over top of that let's see what happens oh there we go so we can put repeats inside. So we're making our branch. We're going back home to the origin. And then we're going to change the angle that we start off at. And yeah, it's got some export things. I can just look at the, the image. Okay. Now, Tinkercad. Tinkercad has code blocks. Code blocks are creating um, 
creating shapes by coding. So we need to, let's see, what do we need? We need to create an object. Again, you're gonna create one branch. So that's gonna create a box. And there are variables you get to play with. Okay. And then so the look at your cut look at your blocks, create object, add object, delete, move, rotate, scale, all important stuff, repeat, variable. So here's what I made. I created an object. I made a box. Two by eighteen by two. Um, important thing to remember, why do I have to move my box? Because it creates everything right around the origin. So I had, to, it was 18 long, so I had to move it Y direction nine. It's too high, so I had to move it up one. So there's, there's the box. There's me moving it. Okay, um, there's the hex. I don't, I don't like the control over the hex. I wish there was better control. But you gotta scale it to what size you want and then obviously move it to where we want it to be. Because we want everything to be, we're making one branch. And then we want them, I'm just adding different stuff. There's a star. It's not quite how I want it to be there. I mean, I could leave it like that. But I kind of wanted to, you know, stick it more point in. Um, and I could move it farther in the Y direction, right? Let's repeat. Let's go back. Boom. Ooh, well, maybe not too far. Okay. Now it's barely there, so that's probably not great. 33. Okay. So. Make a branch. All right, now I wanted to take that branch, um, create a new object that's all, that's six branches. Um, I'm gonna use a variable again to rotate it. Here's the thing, rotate it I times 60 around the origin. Um, and then six times, add a copy of the object. Now why do I have to add, it's like I'm gonna have an extra copy, right? Well, I'll get rid of that extra copy at the end. So add a copy, but rotate it. Okay, come on. I said to move. Oh, does this guy go here? Maybe. All right, start over. Boom. All right, let's create this thing. So now we're going to add copies. All right, there's a copy, there's a copy. And then when we get all done... We're gonna group it and then delete the original one. Um, because of where I put group, I'm grouping all of these and it wouldn't be including the, the original object. So that's why I kind of got rid of the original object. And that's more for 3D printing, uh, grouping objects. So again, just, just play with you know creating a branch of different things and then six times, 60 degrees. Play with it, have fun, bye.